Well, Tiger Woods made his first public appearance on a golf course since his car crash nine months ago. In his first interview since the accident, Woods acknowledged that he does not expect to play full-time golf again. Jerrica Duncan has the latest on Woods' recovery. It's an unfortunate reality, but it's my reality. Just nine months ago, this was the haunting scene that rocked the sports world. Breaking news. It is not clear tonight if the world's most accomplished golfer will play the sport he has defined for decades ever again. Woods had been speeding along a stretch of roadway in California when he lost control of his car, triggering a violent rollover and causing multiple open fractures to his right leg. I wouldn't say 50-50, but it was damn near there, but I'm not, I would was going to walk out of that hospital with one leg. The 45-year-old had to relearn how to walk after doctors inserted a metal rod in his tibia as well as screws and pins to stabilize his ankle and foot. He says he was reminded of advice his father gave him years ago when faced with adversity. This is where my dad's philosophy or dad's teachings came into play because of being in the military. The little small goals lead up to bigger goals and I applied it and it worked. One of his greatest motivators, the prospect of playing golf again with his 12-year-old son, Charlie. The two teamed up last December, just two months before the crash. Eventually, I would like to you know, play with Charlie and watch him play. I went to golf tournaments to watch him play. This video posted by Woods last week showing off his golf swing led to speculation about his return to the sport. On Monday, he admitted that his days of being a full-time tournament player are over. I can still maybe, if my leg gets good enough, maybe click, click off a tournament here or there. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as climbing the mountain, get all the way to the top, I don't think that's a realistic expectation of me. And that was Jerrica Duncan reporting. Tiger Woods says he's still very much in the recovery stage as he continues to get his muscle strength back up. He says he's not even at the halfway point. Still a long ways to go.